modern warfare is constantly increasing. Today, gigantic maneuvers involving whole armies are easily and quickly carried out almost daily. These feats would not be possible if it were not for the efficiency of the communication systems in use today. But communications were not always this good. Take a look at some of the early radio equipment used by our armies. This is the old Hammond receiver and transmitter used in World War I. This two-man generator used at that time required a lot of muscle for proper operation. Here are some of the tubes used in those days. Compare them with the modern tubes doing the same job today. The first infantry pack set was adopted by our army back in 1924. These recently captured German radios are a far cry from the early American models we've just seen, and a lot better. This Jap model is also compact and well-engineered and does an excellent job. But why shouldn't it? Almost every phase of it, even down to the labels on the tubes, was copied from our equipment. Now let's take a look at what our own radio engineers have been doing. They've turned out a set that tops them all, the SCR-694. It's a compact, ruggedly built, two-way, amplitude-modulated radio telephone and radio telegraph unit. It's for communication between moving vehicles, as well as those that are stationary. And is also designed for fixed station operation as well as portable use in the field. All the equipment weighs about 108 pounds and can be handled by two men in a pinch. The whole set is thoroughly waterproof and fungi proof. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I forgot. The transmitter and receiver are housed in a case that actually floats. Now, let's get that receiver and transmitter back in place. We can now learn a little more about the set. It's as dry as a bone. Frequency range of the SCR-694 is from 3,800 to 6,500 kilocycles. It transmits and receives voice modulated signals, MCW or modulated continuous waves, and CW or continuous wave signals. A turn of the switch is all that's necessary. The power output range is from 8 and 1 half watts to 25 watts on CW, and from less than 1 watt to 7 watts on phone, depending on the position of the low, medium, high switch. And whether the hand generator or vibrator power supply is used. Here it's the generator because this is a field installation. The vibrator power supply is used for vehicular operation. Distance range of the SCR 694 is 15 miles on voice and 30 miles on CW between moving vehicles increasing to much greater distances between fixed stations using the special horizontal antenna which goes with the set. Let's take a closer look at the SCR-694 and its component parts. Four canvas bags carry the set and all its equipment. As you recall, they weigh about 108 pounds and in a pinch can be handled by two men. These bags are sturdily made to withstand rugged field use. The antenna equipment roll takes care of the mast sections for the whip antenna, the metal stakes for securing antenna guy ropes, generator legs and seat, cranks for the generator, the insulator that is used in the field for the vertical antenna, and the power cable used for connecting the generator and the set. A 
A second bag carries the operating accessories, which include the following. The headset, key, lip and hand mic, horizontal antenna, counterpoise, and the guy ropes. Another bag carries the generator, and the remaining one, the set itself. For field installations, the set is operated within the carrying bag. All you have to do is take off the set cover and make proper connections. That completes the equipment as it is used in the field. For vehicular installations, additional items are supplied, such as a special mast base, mast bracket, mounting for the set, and of course the special waterproof heavy-duty vibrator power supply. 